Hi there. So, I wanted you to see something we picked up on Facebook Marketplace. Don't mind my light here hanging. Um, I had seen this. Um, so, let me give you a little bit of the backstory. I follow this fantastic person, this influencer on Instagram. Um, I don't normally talk about other people's accounts, but this person in particular has such a beautiful, beautiful style. Her um, handle is R, in a, a period, house, R house, and she has the most gorgeous property in Massachusetts, and in particular, um, she does these great design um, details. And one of the things, so this is not my original idea, I want to give her credit because she came up with this, but she took a frozen castle, the uh, cute uh, cartoon Frozen for the kids, um, she had changed it, this castle, into this beautiful wintry magical castle. And she had painted it white and had like a glitteriness to it. I loved it. It went crazy all over. Instagram. Um, I wanted to do the same. She inspired everybody and a lot of people had done this. So th again, this is not my idea, but I wanted to show you what we could do. So I asked, I had seen this and someone was get thank you to that beautiful person who gave this away. They go up anywhere from 60 to all the way up to $120. You can find it all over. Um, everyone, for some reason, is getting rid of, a lot of people are getting rid of these. So um, I said to my husband, oh my gosh, we have to get this, it's free. So I wanted to recreate what she had done. So this was absolutely 100% free. Um, I don't have younger children anymore, so this was strictly for me. I will say, it is beautiful. It is in great condition. Thank you so much to that person who kept it in great shape. The only thing is there's maybe a little piece of a fence here missing at the very bottom. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Again, it was free. I'm not complaining. Um, this is why I keep my eyes peeled to Facebook Marketplace all the time because you can find some great finds. So a couple things. So I am going to redo this. Um, doing that wintry look and the only reason I will do it is because it was free if it was hundred and twenty dollars or so or even sixty dollars I probably wouldn't have done it and I'm gonna say it's quite lovely the way it is if I had a little girl still if my daughter or even my son were at an age where they could have um, still played with this I would have probably and I don't have grandchildren so I would have maybe maybe thought I might keep it this way however I have decided to do the wintry look because I couldn't beat the deal. Um, this right here is like cardboardy, um, but I'm gonna try to paint over that. Um, so I'm gonna paint this whole thing white. I hope I don't regret it because it is quite lovely. It is such a cute thing. If I was a little girl, I would have been playing with this still. Um, I consider playing with it now. But anyway, um, I'm going to spray paint it white and I don't have, I would have liked a clear glitter um, but I don't have that. So what I do have is a little bit glitter blue left, the silver, and I have the blue glitter and a gold glitter. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this because I don't wanna ruin the white, glittery, snowy look, that icy feel that I'm going for. Maybe the blue will work, maybe the silver will, possibly even the gold, but I'm not sure. I, I'm gonna sit and think about it um, because once you do it, glitter kind of sticks. I will do it when it's kind of wet. So I have to really think about that. If I have a chance to run to the store before I'm done with this, I will maybe consider picking up that clear glitter, and that will be the only cost. Because I have the white spray paint, we do tend to get these a lot around the house, um, just because I use it for various projects. So this, um, yeah, obviously you buy it, but because I had laying around, it's free, essentially. Um, it is the Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch 2X ultra cover. It is paint and primer in one, so it should really adhere to it. It will take two, maybe even three coats because it is, although it's a light lavender purple and a, an even lighter purpley pink, even still, I still want to um, coat it. So let's give it a shot and see what we come up with. So we're going to shake this pretty good. I'm excited. I hope I don't ruin it. Okay, here we go.
trying to not go so dark here so you can still see the windows. I'm looking like a foggy Christmas morning. There's a little bit of that foggy Christmas snow mist. There was like a floral design, if you can see over here. I'm sorry, flat floral, leaf design. And obviously that's not what I'm going for, so I am covering that totally. But if you can tell, I do have the windows slightly fading into view. Um, it is very light, but I want you to see that there are still windows there. to see because I'm in my dark laundry room here um, I only did the outside and I did try to throw some of the glitter here and there it really did get very messy I tried the gold and it was too gold it really was too much of a contrast so I tried the blue and although that's okay I still think it's a little too blue so the clear would have been perfect but I didn't have any on hand. Maybe I'll get some, maybe I won't. But either way, it is a white glittery castle, very Christmassy. I did not touch the inside um, because I just didn't think it was necessary to waste the paint and also to um, bother with it. Uh, this was really just for a decor on the outside and someday. Um, if there are little ones to play in here, they will play with the house still. But it will be a very wintry, classic, gothic style castle. And I love it. A thanks to my husband, my darling husband, who picked this up for me on Facebook Marketplace. And again, it was completely free. How exciting is this? I'm gonna let it dry, and then we're going to put it in place somewhere, and I'll have some Christmas lights in there, and maybe even a Christmas tree, in this upper window, hopefully reflecting with lights, and it'll look lovely, I hope. This castle is now finished. Um, this castle is now finished. The way um, I could do it was free. Um, it is a lovely white winter gothic castle. What a way to celebrate the first day of winter. It is the first day of winter today. Happy winter solstice. And this true, this, um, I almost said tree, this lovely castle mansion um, was completely free and I, only from materials I had on hand. I am starting to regret maybe that I even bothered with the glitter because it is, I tried the gold first and then the blue and I just think it looks messy. So I'm hoping I can fix that, I'm not sure, but I still think it'll look lovely. Um, I tried to spray paint over the gold a little bit and even over the blue a little bit just so it still has a shimmer but mainly um, you won't see the color as much. It almost looks like it just got thrown on, which it did, um, but I really hope I can somehow fix that. But the whole point was to have it glistening. I didn't have the clear on hand. I should have waited and been patient or left it without, but it is still really cute. Again, it was free. And I think it's really lovely. I didn't bother with the inside. Someday maybe some children will play inside it uh, or with it in, on the inside. But for now, um, I'm just going to leave it. I'm not being very particular. I had said originally that I was going to do more coats. I still might do one more coat, but I don't think I'm going to focus on that too much because I like that it looks like snow had fallen on a mansion that has a different color to it. Um, and I'm leaving the inside because it's just not... An important thing for me um, but it will hopefully give it that glow that I'm looking for for winter I did not realize how tall it was um, it's crazy tall <laughs> it really reacted so quickly I didn't think I was going to put it on a tabletop um, but it is obviously much larger um, I don't have a super large house so even on a table it will look silly so I'm going to leave it on the ground I'm going to put Christmas lights in it to have it glisten and in the window here, up here, I'm going to put a tree. Uh, please don't mind my messy, um, undone, unfinished laundry room. We will be getting to that in future episodes. Um, but I wanted you to see um, 
how it came out. I'm a little disappointed in the glitter. Um, wish I didn't do it, but um, I think it'll be okay. And with some Christmas lights in here and also a Christmas tree in there lit up, I think it's going to look absolutely beautiful. Happy first day of winter. It is winter solstice today. What a great way to celebrate. So here it is. Um, I'm actually doing this ahead of time on Christmas, but we're going to leave it up for winter. But here's the finished house. I'm going to put a little tree inside. I put some white lights around. Um, it's not perfect, and next year I imagine it'll be better. Um, but I wanted you to get the idea of what we were doing. And I really love it. It's very magical. I don't know if you can see it as well as in person. I shut the lights off a little so you could see the ambiance and the lights are not perfectly um, lined inside and just kind of willy-nilly put them in there but you get the idea of how magical it looks isn't that beautiful so to finish this off I have put these silver glittery picks that I had they're like fern picks I had grabbed them from the Dollar Tree and these white and silvery balls and white little pellets of snow all of those were a part of the Dollar Tree find that I found and also this little green tree that I had with my village I put that in the window so you see a Christmas tree in the window so you see all of this finished and it just looks like a wintry scene hope you can see all of it in detail here is the magical fairy castle. I believe it is a frozen castle that I painted and had a little glitter put on. A little Christmas tree up in the winter, up in the um, upper window, I mean, excuse me. And then we have the pretty. And then we have a little tree that I had on our coffee bar for a while. I decided to put it here. And then I had some silvery snowflakes from the Dollar Tree and some silvery fern picks that look like silvery trees. This is our magical winter castle for the winter. We decided to put it on our buffet. I know I just showed you some things that I had decorated for winter and I just wasn't pleased with it. So what I do is I move things around a lot, but this particular thing, um, this decor, I have decided to keep for the winter. I really love how it turned out. And I had gotten this idea from an influencer on Instagram who I adore. She has the most beautiful house and this was her idea. And she had gotten this castle, this exact castle off of um, Facebook Marketplace. So I had been searching because I thought, oh, I wanted to replicate it. It was so beautiful. And I don't know what how she did it, if she uh, bought it or if it was for free, but this castle, I've seen it anywhere from $60 to $120. And I got it for free right in our area, about half an hour away for free. So I used some white lights a little Christmas tree from Target, this little mini village one I put in the upper window so it looks like a home with a tree in it. And then we have uh, just a little bit of a winter scene around and that's it for winter. Isn't it pretty? So that's our little transition for winter. We're gonna leave it up for January.